the conversation of the City Business Olympics is very far from over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. indulge us. And um, I think that if you were there, you understand why we have to keep talking about it. Yeah. If you weren't, we understand. But we'll see you next year. And that is the conversation we are having now. And um, we've been privileged to have one of our sponsors, the people who made sure that CBO was a huge success. Join us on set now. We have the CEO, Universal Motors. Yeah, the guys who bring the VW. <laughs> he is here with us. And we have the CEO, Subi Akkad, is our guest. Welcome, Subi. Oh, good morning. How good morning. I'm okay. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Great. Thanks so, for receiving me. Mm, anytime. So we are now looking at, I know that you wear many hats, but now we are talking City Business Olympics, yeah. which means your role as CEO for Universal Motors. That's Maybe when we have time, we'll look at all the other things that you do too. We should. It's a fascinating right? person. Yes. <laughs> yes, person yes, to yes. Talk to. But you. before we zoom into um, why you decided to be a sponsor for the City Business Olympics, tell us a little bit about Universal Motors. I saw some of your beautiful cars on Saturday. Thank you. Well, uh, Universal Motors has been, uh, we started business in 2004 when we applied for a uh, Volkswagen dealership. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, we've been uh, representing importing Volkswagen mostly from all around the world, mm -hmm. wherever they build it. And uh, it's been quite a success. Uh, we've had uh, definitely, like all the car industry, there are, uh, we have to look at uh, the uh, condition of the roads, the uh, petrol so mm -hmm. not all models are available yeah. but the models that are made available for us based on our conditions here especially when it relates to petrol mm. then uh, in uh, when the uh, government uh, came out with the auto policy in uh, 2008 i think uh, we start we were one of the first people who were interested in uh, and joining the uh, auto policy for to assemble cars yeah. in Ghana. So okay. we contacted uh, our principals in, uh, in uh, South Africa at that time, the, uh, the, the current CEO of Volkswagen Worldwide, uh, Mr. Thomas Schaeffer, mm -hmm. uh, for Volkswagen Passenger. He was the CEO and managing director of uh, Volkswagen uh, South Africa mm -hmm. and uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. I contacted him and he showed great interest and he said, Ghana is an excellent place to be. It is, uh, I told him, yes, it's the, the center <laughs> of the world. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, based on that, we, uh, the, rolls, uh, the ball started rolling. Uh, immediately after uh, we had meetings here then uh, we had visit uh, from uh, chancellor merkel at that time mm -hmm. where we there was a signing of a memorandum of understanding yeah. 2019 by the end of 2019 we were contracted by volkswagen to assemble cars in ghana mm -hmm. where we started assembling we were the first company to adopt the assembly uh, we, uh, it was launched by 2020 because we were entering into the COVID, so yeah. everything was at standstill, mm -hmm. but we were ready already in December 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to uh, wait till 2020 uh, August before we were, uh, before we could start. Mm -hmm. And based on that, uh, we went ahead uh, and started assembling after the after it was launched. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, the first models we assembled were the Tiguan. Then there was the Polo. There was the uh, Amarok pickup. Okay. There was the Terramont, the Passat. Uh, many models, and the models keep on changing mm -hmm. and coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, our contract ended with the uh, because we are support we were supposed to uh, assemble only phase one, okay. and Volkswagen were to take over phase two. Okay. So our contract with Volkswagen ended in July, twenty one. Okay. But we kept on assembling up to December twenty two, ah. when they decided to start and uh, take over the assembly themselves in Tema. Mm. 
but we are still uh, we are still uh, dealing. I mean, in the car, we are still the uh, uh, selling the cars. Mm. Mm. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we still have lots of uh, projects in head, mm. whether it is uh, Volkswagen or uh, but auto industry has been our business in the group since 1941. Mm. Mm. So, uh, so it's not something that we are uh, just uh, stopping. We want mm. to continue and we have lots of plans in Ghana. So, so what else are you doing now? Aside um, VW, do you own <laughs> Well, we are, we are the current uh, importers of Porsche as well yeah. since 2010. And then there is uh, part of the group other than Universal Motors. We have another sister company which where we do uh, Nissan and uh, Mercury outboard motors okay. and, uh, and uh, boats, uh, s s mm. quick silver boats. Mm. 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 So wow. that's what we do. How do, people, how do people find you typically? I mean, online, your specific office locations, what's the easiest way for people to get in touch with you? Uh, we are easy to find. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, we are uh, we have our showrooms for Volkswagen uh, in uh, North Industrial Area, Clan Street, where everybody is welcome to visit. They have been they have just been refurbished. Mm -hmm. You are okay. welcome to have Thank uh, you. Uh, to have uh, how do you call it as well. Uh, uh, a Excess TV program, a TV, a TV like show, a TV, yeah. show, in TV the, show in the show. Why not? You know, we have auto show. <laughs> yeah. a, a, a show. So yeah, there, are, know, there are always on, on nice ideas cars. that can yeah. be put together. Absolutely. <laughs> and right. uh, so this is one of the. Mm. And it's nice to go there because you feel the cars, you see the cars. So it's yeah. very nice to go yeah. there. And definitely online, mm. we can be uh, we can be accessed online. We have uh, our. Uh, uh, free toll number okay. it is uh, 800 vw cars oh wow oh, okay. so the v you know what is the number that comes with the v ah, you okay. so it's and it's a toll free number mm. so it's 800 vw, VW cars. cars and we have whatsapp i don't know the number by heart but i can <laughs> it's okay you can check i can check yeah. The <laughs> yeah okay okay uh, okay i see what so it's mm. eight, so the toll free number is eight hundred eight nine. You know it's a VW, so it's yeah. eight nine uh, two two um, seven. It's eight seven. nine two two seven seven. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the uh, that's VW cars. VW that's cars. That's super yes. cool, <laughs> man. <laughs> right, but let's talk about. Um, and the WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. You have the number now. <laughs> yes. Go on. Zero five four four uh -huh. three three. Eight eight zero four. Okay. So zero five five zero five four four. Okay. Three three uh -huh. eight eight zero four. All right. So we'll definitely, find you. definitely, we can be reached there for any information required mm -hmm. and complaint as well. Mm -hmm. Great. We, we need progressive complaint, Absolutely. positive complaint, because mm -hmm. we are always there to improve and see how best we can uh, meet uh, mm -hmm. the, our customer satisfaction. Right, now let's talk about City Business Olympics. Mm -hmm. Why was it important for you to be a sponsor? When it was brought to me by our marketing department, I found it very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I liked the idea a lot the idea of uh, sports, of, mm. uh, because that's the best way of communication mm -hmm. among uh, everybody. I yeah. mean, sports, activity, it's healthy, it's uh, communication, mm -hmm. and it was presented by City FM as well, so it was, uh, <laughs> mm. it was viable. Mm. Right. So, uh, in principle, uh, that was uh, the idea, and then definitely for communication and mm. uh, to expose our products, and we had uh, we had some products in mind, mm -hmm. where we thought it would be a good way to showcase them and uh, see them, especially because mm -hmm. I am sure that you had some CEOs, you have some you had some managers, but there were lots of 
staff as yeah. well, m member of, comp uh, of uh, the companies mm -hmm. who were there who took part. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, some of the cars like the Polo, which we showcased and we, uh, we put it on test drive there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how was that, the test drive? Actually, it was quite good. Okay. It was quite good. The time was not enough, but... <laughs> it can never be enough, right? <laughs> but it was as good as it can mm. be, but it yeah. was full, non-stop. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I saw the Amarok that day. Yes. Yeah, I know there were other cars, but there was yeah. the Amarok I noticed. We did yeah. display the yeah. Amarok yeah. pickup, which is a very, very, very good pickup, yeah. honestly. It's, it's, a, it's a heavy duty pickup, but when you are driving it, it's like you are driving a car. It's so mm. comfortable, mm. but it's really hard. You know, I saw one, I, I'm not too sure the name of the car, mm. uh, but it was a silver one. You know, it came on the Friday evening when we were oh, setting okay. up. And David, I closed my eyes and it I could see it. myself in that <laughs> car, you know. <laughs> but your cars are good, you know, and um, looks like very ideal for the yeah. Ghanaian market. But how have Ghanaians patronized the vehicles? Well, I mean, definitely, to be honest with you, we were expecting better. Mm -hmm. The idea of the auto, uh, the, uh, auto policy yeah. was to start assembling and to infiltrate the market in a way to protect the local industry mm. and to open up the uh, and to and to bring in f supported financing yeah. or mm. e easy financing. Yeah. Mm. This is still on the table being discussed. It's okay. not finished yet. Okay. You know, I mean, I think in Ghana and mostly in most of West Africa. We are the only area where people buy cars paying full. I mean, unfortunately, because of the very high interest mm. rate. So mm. this is something that challenge. has to be addressed. Yeah. And it's very important because we have to change. We have to move forward. I, don't, I mean, you have seen what's been happening this yeah. summer yeah. around the world uh, regarding the global uh, warming. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we've never seen uh, a summer uh, as uh, cloudy and rainy in Ghana right. like uh, yeah. this summer. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, there will be more to come because of the global warming. So it's very important mm. to address this issue mm. of uh, control of imported car, mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. secondhand imported yeah. with the limited time, not over age. Yeah. and uh, safe on the road as mm. well. So right. that's no a problem. Thank we'll you. We'll come over and have a conversation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> All right, so we'll be speaking with Subi Akkad, um, who is the CEO of Universal Motors.